All right, fishy folks, here is the 55 gallon planted tank. No water changes, no added water for probably close to three months. Um, hopefully I will be adding water today. That's the plan. Um, if you are a beginner or a novice, I certainly don't recommend doing this. Not only does it look terrible and it's gonna be a pain in the hiding to clean that glass, but uh, if you don't have a ton of plants sucking up all the nitrates, uh, you probably will kill your fish. So that's my only saving grace here. There are so many plants that are so big, they're eating all the nitrates and uh, that's what's keeping the cycle going without crashing. You can see those two big angels squaring off. They do that quite often. I'm assuming one's a male, one's a female, but they could both be two males just fighting. Uh, it's like a gang war in here usually. Usually it's the big um, <clears throat> koi angel which is really not a koi it's a maybe a gold scale and marble uh angel but it was sold as a koi and uh, i got it believe it or not at petco when it was like that big and uh it's grown into that beauty and then that marble is uh one that i <clears throat> grew out from fry from when i used to breed angels and then the smoky uh, one that's just looking at us right now. I don't know if you can see because, yeah, right there, that one. And that one I got from Daniel Anderson down at Hypnotic Aquatics in Florida. Um, there was one smaller one, a smaller uh, black veil or black lace, I think, in here um, quite a while ago. But that one died. I think it just got picked on to death by these two anyway so usually the koi and uh this bigger one over here right there sort of tag team on the other smaller smoky and the marble and it's like a gang war uh they square off they you know do that but all right so let's talk about the tank uh i've talked about this tank i did a little series on setting it up i'll put a link uh in the description and up in the video if you guys could take a look at that uh, talk about the substrate and all the plants I have changed some plants a little bit since then um, I added some swords and some other smaller plants all right fishy folks 55 gallon planted angel tank water change you can see I have a water line coming from a bucket which is over there by the sink uh, and I just put safe in here. I have a pump in the bucket. So water goes into the bucket. The pump pumps it through here. Boom, fill in the tank. That's how it works, folks. I'm gonna move the camera down like this. Stand by for fast motion and cool music. All right, fishy folks, the water change is done. Now I have to aquascape, which I suck at. So it should be interesting. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. We have some issues in this general area right here with the dwarf water lily. It grows up to the top and causes shadows. And I don't want that. Not a big fan of it. I do leave it in the tank because it's good for the tank, but I'm going to get some scissors and cut these lily pads off. But first, I need to get something to put them in. Day after Monday tip, incorporate into this special update video. If you're going to aquascape and you're going to have lots of trimmings, get a container to put the trimmings in and then throw them in the compost pile. Boom! Recycling! Stand by. All right, fishy folks, what we have here Recycling is a Chinese food container. Probably General Child's chicken because that's our favorite. I'm going to use this to put the cuttings in. Stand by as an aquascape. Fast time music and fast time video coming up. Okay, we got some of this that has to be planted. I think it's a Java fern. Don't really know. Probably can't be buried too far, so... 
put it in until the pleco uproots it. Got some Java moss that's in here, which I don't really know why. I'm gonna try to take that out and use it in a guppy tank. I'll probably just throw it in the pond outside. So we got some something here with a lot of leaves that are melting. So I'm gonna try to cut those off, help this thing grow. I don't know what I'm doing. If I'm doing something wrong, please comment and tell me. If I'm doing something right, just give me a thumbs up. Whatever you do, don't give me a thumbs down and then not say anything. If you don't like it, tell me. Your video sucks because you're bald and fat. Well, that would be stupid if you'd say that because I've always been bald and fat. At least as long as I've been making videos. All right, I'm rambling. Do, 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 do. All right, that's good. Now we gotta take all the leaves out because I decided to use the tank as a catch-all, which is pretty stupid if you ask me. How do you guys do this all the time? I got one tank, I do it every couple months, I hate it. I don't really hate it, I just don't love it. All right, let's plant this bad boy. All right, Fisher folks, water change is done. Fish are looking fine. Trim some plants. I did leave a couple of smaller leaves for the uh, dwarf sag. There is some uh, black algae in there. Um, not really sure what it's from. Don't really care. There's also some algae on the glass. I'm gonna assume the plecos will take care of that over the next evening or two. If not, I'll probably get in there with a little scrubber or razor blade and clean it off. But uh, that's pretty much it for today. I think what I'm gonna do now is give them some Sarah O'Nip tabs. I'll put a link in the description below on Amazon for you. These guys, they love it. It sticks to the glass, it's really cool. Usually I let Lucas, my six-year-old, do it. But uh, he's out shopping with mom and medium brother, so stand by, I'm gonna put these on. It's really easy. It is. Watch. put two in. Of course, they're too busy to notice because they're fighting each other. Let's watch and see. Oof, that little one's beating up the big one. Gang war, I told you before. It's like a gang war. I've never seen them wait so long to eat this. Usually they attack it straight up. All right, here we go. That's the bully fish. That's what Lucas, oh, look. He's like, get away from that. So it's the big marble and the big smoky versus little smoky and the koi. Uh-oh, they're squaring off. Get away from my food. Be cool if I played some West Side Story music or something. <laughs> All right, fishy folks. That's it for the angel fish planted 55 gallon tank update. Hope you all liked it. Don't forget to check out Michael's Fish Room to buy some spectacular guppies. Everyone stay guppy-like. All right, fishy folks, here is the 55-gallon planted angel tank. It's got a lemon pleco and two clown plecos, two smaller clown plecos in it. <clears throat> you can see what happens when you don't change or add water for almost three months. That's what happens. And I don't recommend anyone doing this. I don't think most, especially novice or beginner hobbyists, uh, their fish would survive. Mine did. Uh, I'm not really sure why, since, um, yeah, I'm talking out my butt.
Hiya, fishy folks. <laughs> All right, fishy folks. We're adding water to the 55 gallon planted angel tank that's upstairs. The only tank that is not on the auto water change system. Uh, as you can see here, maybe, maybe, no, you can't really see. Oh, there, now you can see. Yeah, let's start over. Okay. Hiya, fishy folks. <sighs> yeah, it's creepy. Look at that hair on my back. Jesus. Probably should tie it to some wood or something, but that ain't gonna happen, so. We're kind of just going to put it in the... Oh, look, my belly. I hope that wasn't the whole video. That would have sucked. I'm going to have to go back and look.